This is the Managing Advanced Shipping Notices and Returns Training Course. Welcome to the Managing Advanced Shipping Notices and Returns Training Course. Here is a list of topics that will be covered in this course, Course Introduction. Lesson 1, Creating an Advanced Shipping Notice. Lesson 2, Confirming or Rejecting a Return. Knowledge Checks. And, Course Summary. Course Introduction After completing this course, you will be able to Explain the advanced shipping notice and return processes in Ohio buys and recognize the key changes associated with these processes. Create an advanced shipping notice And, confirm or reject the return. The following key terms and changes will help you understand the managing shipping notices and returns processes, and they are highlighted throughout this course. State users are able to create receipts and returns within Ohio buys. Receipts and returns are linked to their associated purchase orders, which allows suppliers to better track the status of their purchase orders and accelerate invoice processing. Suppliers can create advanced shipping notices or receipts to notify the state that their goods have been shipped, which can help accelerate the invoice approval process. And, if the state creates a return in Ohio buys, the received amount on the purchase order is automatically reduced by what was returned, and the supplier is notified via email of the return. Suppliers should then review and acknowledge the return. Ohio Buys allows suppliers to create an advanced shipping notice and confirm returns. This functionality helps suppliers track the status of their purchase orders and may accelerate invoice processing. Receipts and returns are directly linked to their corresponding purchase orders, which allows suppliers to easily and quickly see their orders. Ohio Buys provides the following benefits to the managing shipping notices and returns process. First, creating and managing receipts and returns can be fully completed in Ohio Buys versus utilizing manual tools and systems. Second, suppliers can create an ASN to notify state users that their goods have shipped. And, finally, receipts and returns are directly linked to purchase orders which allows for full visibility into their status and progress. Lesson 1. Creating an Advanced Shipping Notice An advanced shipping notice can only be created by suppliers. An ASN is a draft receipt sent to the state user who submitted the order to inform them that their goods have shipped. Once an ASN is created, the state user who submitted the order is notified via email. If the goods are received, the state will confirm the ASN and an approved receipt will be automatically generated. If the goods are not received, the state will reject the ASN and provide comments as to why the ASN was rejected. Then, the associated supplier contact will receive a notification to update and resubmit the ASN as necessary. We will now demonstrate how to create an advanced shipping notice. From the main menu navigation bar, click Orders and then select Manage Shipments from the drop-down menu. On the Manage Shipments page, find the purchase order you want to create an advanced shipping notice for. Check the checkbox icon next to the purchase order and then click Create Deliveries. In the Create Shipments box, populate the delivery date and delivery reference fields. Clicking on the delivery date field generates a calendar. Choose the date you plan to ship the goods to the requester. Within the delivery reference field, enter the tracking number, packing slip number, and or bill of lading for the requester's reference. Click Validate. Once you click Validate, an advanced shipping notice is created and sent to the requester. If you want to view the receipt's details, click on the displayed hyperlink. This concludes the demonstration on creating an advanced shipping notice. Knowledge Check 1. True or False. An advanced shipping notice is always tied to a purchase order. The correct answer is true. Advanced shipping notices will always be tied to a specific purchase order. Knowledge Check 2. Multiple Choice. 
who is able to create an advanced shipping notice in Ohio buys. Option A requesters. Option B requisitioners. Option C suppliers. Or option D receivers. The correct answer is C. Only suppliers can create advanced shipping notices. Knowledge check 3. True or false. If the state declines an advanced shipping notice the associated supplier does not receive an email notification to update and resubmit as necessary. The correct answer is false. The state will decline the advanced shipping notice by rejecting the delivery and filling out a mandatory comment. The associated supplier contact receives an email notification to update and resubmit as necessary. Lesson 2. Confirming or rejecting a return. If there was an issue with a particular delivery, such as goods arriving defective or damaged, the state will create a return in Ohio buys to let the supplier know they are sending the goods back. A return can only be created if a receipt was created and accepted. Suppliers will receive an email notification informing them the state has created a return and has shipped the defective or damaged goods back. Suppliers should log in to Ohio Buys to review the return and confirm or reject the receipt of the returned items. This automatically notifies the state that their goods were successfully received and returned. We will now demonstrate how to accept a return. You will receive an email notification when you have a return to confirm or reject. Navigate to the validations box from the Ohio Buys homepage, find the applicable return and click on the associated object hyperlink to confirm or reject. On the returns page, scroll down to the line items associated with the return. Click the pencil icon next to each line item to review the accuracy of its information, for example, name, quantity, associated purchase order. In the edit delivery item box, Ensure the pre-populated quantity received field is accurate and make updates as necessary. Once you have made any necessary updates, click Save and Close. If you want to reject the return for your selected items, click Reject Return. If you click Reject Return, a pop-up appears where you must indicate your reason. The associated requester will receive a notification regarding your rejection including your reason. In this example, we will click reject to show what the box looks like and then click cancel. If you want to confirm the return for your selected items, click confirm receipt. The associated requester will receive a notification regarding your confirmation. This concludes the demonstration on confirming or rejecting a return. Knowledge Check 4. Multiple Choice. What does a supplier contact need to do to confirm or reject a return in Ohio buys? Option A. Directly reach out to the requester. Option B. Log in to Ohio buys and confirm or reject the return. Option C. Log in to Ohio buys and create a return for the requester to approve. Or, option D, contact the delivery or mailing company. The correct answer is B. Suppliers should log in to Ohio Buys, find the respective return, and click Confirm or Reject. Course Summary Now that you are familiar with the managing shipping notices and returns processes, consider the following key takeaways. Ohio Buys allows suppliers to create advanced shipping notices and confirm returns. This functionality helps suppliers track the status of their purchase orders. Suppliers create an ASN to inform the state that their ordered goods have been shipped. If the goods are received, the state will confirm the ASN. If the goods are not received, the state will decline the ASN by rejecting the delivery and filling out a mandatory comment. And. A return can only be created if a receipt was created. Suppliers should log in to Ohio Buys to review the return and confirm or reject the receipt of the returned items. You should now be able to explain the advanced shipping notice and return processes in Ohio Buys and recognize the key changes associated with these processes. 
create an advanced shipping notice, and confirm or reject a return. Thank you for taking this course. If you have any questions, please email Ohio Shared Services at Ohio.gov or call 1 877 644 6771.